Why did the Boeing 747's hump nearly ruined it? Let me explain. When it was first designed in the 1960s, Boeing didn't think the 747 would last long in passenger service. They believed supersonic jets would take over, so the 747 was built to easily convert into a cargo plane. That meant the cockpit had to be placed above the main deck, making room for a nose that could swing open for freight. But this solution created a new problem. That raised cockpit led to a bulky upper deck, which changed the aircraft's aerodynamics and added drag. It also complicated the emergency evacuation routes and made the aircraft trickier to balance. Pilots had to adjust to a completely different sight line from the elevated cockpit, which created its own training curve. But it meant any future stretch versions would need a completely new design, since the hump couldn't just be extended easily. Boeing considered flattening it for later models, but by then the hump had become a signature. Airlines loved the luxurious upper deck lounges, and passengers associated the hump with prestige. 